Yo, this is a ton of plays. Pokemon Shining Pearl. Now, let's go to the next destination for next gym battle. But before we do that, we haven't been to Giblet TV for a while. And we're getting a new Poketch apps, which we always get after you get more badges. You also use a lottery here if you want to get a special item, but that's just luck based. Um. Stickers if you need to. I need to find out where it was to get this uh, Poke Chaps again. Uh, press coverage denied. Of course I am. I'm not gonna give you press coverage. No, I don't have time for that. I'm on adventure! I don't have time for interviews. Stickers at least from this guy. This is cool to have, but nee. This guy? Um, rare item expert panel. More stickers from that one. Yeah, it does work to talk to a lot of people in this game. Because then you get a lot of cool stuff. Just one up floor up. This is the top floor, I think. Here we go. Yeah, talk about possibilities. Where's my ashes? Where are my ash? Where's my stuff? Not here. Oh yeah, of course. It's not Jibble Live TV that gets me the Poketch app stuff. Never mind, I'm just dumb. There's a Poketch company that gives you Poketch stuff. I mean... Ah, uh, fail. Oh well, lots of stickers at least for free. Can't complain now, can we? No, I don't think so. Now here, is where we want to go. This is the Poketch company. Find the guy that gives us the stuff though. I think that one is on their top floor. Let's try first. No. This piece is for guides. No, thanks. There's no one else here. Where are them? Give it to me. Not here. Is this the old man here maybe with the Pokemon? He's the father of the president. Ah, wow. PC stuff. Here's the president. The new app, we got a memo pad, Poke Chap. You have more, don't you? You do. Here's the marking map, Poke Chap, which is nice for uh, roaming Pokemon. And that's the apps we've gotten so far. You will get more apps as you prolong in the game though, so come back here when you have more batches. I'm not gonna go for every pocket chat, but might as well just take these since they were on the way. Now then, let's head west. We're now on Route 218. Normally in the past game, where we were before, you could go to this girl here. Then the adventure stops, because we need to surf. Well, now we can. Let's surf. We can go past to this place. A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon. Okay. Whatever. Sailor Skyler with two Pokemon. The first one of these is Mantike. So Mantike is the baby Pokemon of Mantine. This one is cute, but it's a water type, so be warned, even though it's not the most powerful. 
Oh, it's stopped. Pretty norm strong normal type move. We'll go bubble beam. This is gonna hurt. Not too much, though. Mantike is a baby Pokemon. Baby Pokemon don't really have the best of stats. That's why I can do a stomp twice to take it down. XP is wise and see one really strongest. Oh boy, Gyarados. Now we're talking border Pokemon that are very, very ferocious. No way we're gonna stick with Ponta for this one. Let's bring in our Luxray because Gyarados hates electric Pokemon with a passion. The team that also works nice because Gyarados has very high physical attack. He also has his own Intimidate, but that won't really help him. He's so weak to electric that even Intimidate won't really matter here. Let's go with a Spark. That's gonna take him out. And Gyarados goes down. Easy. Now with that we're talking XP. Level 41 Luxray and 35 Ponyta. And now Ponyta learns a pretty weird move called Fire Spin. It is a special attack, but you might think, okay, this is a bad move for Ponyta because it's a special attack. Yes, normally it would be, but since Gen 1, back in Gen 1, I think Fire Spin was absolutely trash. This move has, has been upgraded a bit. Now it's much better. So the big thing here is that the damage over time has been increased a lot. Now it's no longer crap. It's still not the best move in my opinion. But for Pokemon that can be tanky, this move can be very, very useful. I don't think we need Flame Charge because I feel the speed of Ponta is fa fast enough. We don't need extra speed. And Flame Wheel is also higher attack power. Which can also go to a burn. We can't do burn with uh, Flame Charge. That's why I feel... If you can use Flame Wheel, you only need Flame Charge. Wow, some of is on the other side. You see me, thanks. Please take these. Flame stickers. Let it rock, it's the rhythm of battle. Yeah, we have some guitarists as well. Guitarist Tony. And he has Luxio. Yeah, guitarists, trainers, usually have electric types. That's kind of common for them. They've been in the game for many generations as well. I'm not sure if Gen 4 was the first one. I didn't think it was before that one. Maybe yeah, in Gen 1. Doesn't really matter. So if you use Fire Spin now... Fire Spin's power speed low. So basically even lower than Ember. But the power of the, the Flame... the Fire Spin... As we get a Roar, we've been sent out. Which is fine. Meditite, that actually is pretty good. We want XP on him too. Side beam. Give us some damage. Spark. Pretty good damage where. The fire speed doesn't work now, I think, anymore because we were switched out. Use low kick then. It is damage if the Pokemon is heavy, but Luxio I don't think it's a very heavy Pokemon. Can you hear it? That's my guitar. Weeping. Oh, I'm sorry. But you won the battle, so you have to talk to yourself about that. But Bear is here, some fishmen you also can battle if you want to go around and swim. Wild Pokemon with face face here too. Let's see what we can fight. Ah, uh, Wingo. Yeah. They're very common in the sea routes of Gen 4. Sadly. Which is a bit lame. But hey, what can you do about it? Not much. Alright, so. From Route 2 on 18, we go left. Who's this guy? Sitano, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I am Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. So I chose this spot on a hunch that you passed through. Sitano, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see. What is it supposed to put in the software here? 
will tell you Bokta is one that doesn't need upgrading, in order lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokemon. Technology sure has improved lately. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with the project for Professor. I may also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic. The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilife City. There's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Yeah, so in the original Gen, Gen 4, this is where you get to see uh, images of male and female Pokemon. But this was already built in in the remix. So that's why he says these things. Because remix has made things a bit easier. Now then. Left from here. And we enter... Canlave City. Cargo port Canlave City. This is a very nice place. Like you can see on the other side there. There is the gym. That we're going to enter soon. And that's going to be nice. Because that gives us a badge. What's up? Your clothes look damp. We're swimming at the beach right by San Jim Town. No, we haven't, but we'll go there later. I hear that there's a man who is very forgetful here in Canalev City. He makes Pokemon forget their moves. Yeah, this is a nice guy. Hello, trainer. Here's some things I found. They're mixed in, in a load of cargo from another country. I can't use them, so I think you should take them. And we get TM48. Which is... You know how Pokemon have their own abilities. Well, move skill swap but changes user's ability with that of his target. How you use skill swap is a measure of your expertise as a trainer. Yeah, skill swap is a very niche move. Can be useful, but mainly, yeah, it's such a niche move. In my opinion, it's really hard to make it too good. But if you can make it work, it's good. It's just rarely that good. Now this man here is special. Mm. Who oh, did I say I was again? Oh yes, I remember now. I am the move deleter. You come to make me force your Pokemon to forget some moves. Which Pokemon should forget a move? Now, the move deleter, he's nice that can make Pokemon forget moves. But, I don't really see the issue of, of, the, of him anymore. Because he was mainly important to remove agent moves in previous games. But now the agents are TMs and the agent moves that you use in the field are now in the Pokedex app here. So I really find the move deleter to be kind of useless uh, from this from now on. So, but hey, if you want to really forget your moves, he is here in Candlelight City. Welcome to Candlelight, the Candle City. In the old days, this port used to be a hub for cargo transportation. It probably was. Not gonna deny if he's speaking the truth. I can't use the hidden move string from my pocket until I beat gym leader Byron. Byron, that's a gym leader. The same kinds of Pokemon can sometimes have different abilities. Maybe I ought to race two with different abilities. Well, they are they're, they're speaking the truth though. Because some Pokemon have different abilities depending on the Pokemon. And some Pokemon also have what we call hidden abilities. Which are basically abilities that they also have, but you can't really see it. You have to sort of trigger it to see if they actually have it or not. Which um, can be very cool. Now it is important that you do heal up your Pokemon here because when you cross this bridge, you will meet someone we already know. I think you know who it is, right? Let's cross the bridge. Whoops! Oh, hey, Satano! You're going to challenge the gym leader up ahead, eh? Someone should check to see if you're ready for his challenge. And that someone is me with my brand new gym badge. So, yeah, we're gonna fight Barry again. Alright, Barry, what do you have this time? He has Staravia. Oh, you finally evolved it! Congratulations! Now when you won't evolve it again though? Question mark. So yeah, he finally evolved his Starly, which was kind of funny, considering his Starly was very high level, and then it's like, eh, don't want to evolve it. Now he has evolved it. Good for you. Let's go with Flame Wheel. 
Even Team David still does some damage. Because Pluck. Pluck is a nasty move. Because it has same power as Wing Attack. But it has a bonus that um, it also eats the berry of the opponent. Oh, here comes his own Ponyta. But he has Flash Fire. Flash Fire means that instead of taking damage from Fire Moves, you will instead be increasing your own power. Well, if you want to switch Pokemon, I will too. Let's bring out Empoleon. Here it comes. He's going to use a little bit of a speed up with agility. I find that to be fine for me, because I will just use Surf. Here comes Tail Whip to cut off our defense by one. I'm not concerned about that, because it's time for Ponyta to be drenched in water. Here comes Surf. Whoa. Now that is a KO. Bye, Ponyta. Oh, wow. Critical hit as well. That's going to be a lot of damage. Ponyta, no chance. Well, better use this time. Please, Heracross. Now, interest interesting. So, Heracross is a dual type bug and fighting type from generation number two. Bug and fighting is a very nice combination, except. It has a four time weakness to flying types. Yeah. Heracross, when Heracross sees a bird, it's going to cry and ask for mercy. So if I just use a little arrow lace on Heracross, well, check this out. Bye bye. Bug and fighting, could combination, but not. If you have a bird Pokemon waiting to pluck that one out. Level up for Meditite level 35. We're closing into its evolved form. And Ponyta level 39. Now it's done Whirlpool. So Whirlpool is kind of like Fire Spin. Actually, it is like Fire Spin. So Whirlpool is basically the water version of Fire Spin. It does some damage, but also deals uh, priority damage every... Uh, turn for four to five turns. So you're facing Pokemon that has very very tanky move set. It can be useful. If not, it is not that needed. Mm. In fact, it also has 85 accuracy. It's not that great, but. I mean, Brian is worse than Surf, but it will have 130 power if the Pokemon has half HP or less, so... Do I even need it, though? No, I don't think so. I think Brian is too niche. Because usually, if um, Pokemon is less than half HP, Surf should be able to kill it anyways. Here comes Buizel, which he hasn't evolved yet, so he hasn't learned everything, I guess, from his, uh, his job. Find them, Barry! Let me show you what happens if you don't evolve your Pokemon. The so Boo Cell we know evolve into Float Cell. The Barry hasn't understand that yet, so he still has his Boo Cell. So Boo Cell is a water type. Let's hit it with a magical leaf. I'll tell you first, because we are. Because he can, he has two tails. But I have a lot of leaves. Can't use those tails to, to knock off that one, can you? Unless you're in the enemy, though, he probably spin his tail to knock over every, every leaf. Because he can. Here comes Staravia again. Staravia, flying type. Weak to electric, weak to rock and to ice. We don't have rock or ice, let's go electric then. Let's get in Luxray. Here he comes. There's Staravia again. Going with Intimidate. So will Staravia. They switched in both, that means the Intimidate goes in. Let's use Spark. That's going to be a very easy KO. Even with attack reduction, doesn't really matter. Staravia goes down. 
Next up is Grottle. So Grottle is the starter Pokemon evolved into its first form, not the fully formed. This is a dual type grass and ground, I think? Or is Grottle only a grass type? I know that Turtwig is a grass only, but Grottle. Yeah, Grottle is actually pure grass. Never mind, that's good for us though. So, gr pure grass type, Grottle. He will become a gr ground type as well when it evolves into its final form, which uh, Barry doesn't have yet, but that's fine. Let's go with Flame Wheel. Grottle is tanky though, that's why it will survive. Comes Stealth Rock, which is kind of useless now. Stealth Rock is a great move to use in the very first turn in long battles, but after that, it's not that great. Oh, no KO! Almost though. Bite. We're not done yet. Neither me and my opponent have given up. Let's use Fire Spin then. Just to humiliate a bit. And the Grottle goes down. I did Fire Spin in case he were to heal, because then if he healed, he would take some crazy damage, and two Flame Wheels will KO it. Anyways. Level up for Ponyta and the Raptor. Very good. And we win against Barry. What just happened? You telling me I lost? Yeah, you lost. Again. Yeah, yeah, you're just a little bit better than me. As usual. But listen up, let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed right, it's going to be me. Anyway, so you should be able to take on the gym leader here. Now hurry up and get to it. Oh boy, Barry, give me a break. Anyways, next episode we're going to go into a gym, we're going to see how far we can get, and then we're going to see if we can find the gym leader and take him on for a badge. Can we do it? See next time we enter the gym for a challenge. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's good for now. I'll see you guys next time. It's my journey in Pokemon Shining Pearl continues.